It's another beautiful day here at Staff as we prepare for the first 80 lap open modified event of the year, the Call Before You Dig Open Modified 81. And we're going to start with the open modifieds as Kyle Ricky standing by with a driver who was really fast during Spring Sizzler weekend. And Bonza, that driver is Matt Galco, ran so well here at the Spring Sizzler a couple of weeks ago, ran toward the front of the field, ended up with a sixth place finish. Does that give you any more confidence with all that speed of a couple of weeks ago coming into tonight's event? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we definitely have a car to win. Um, we just need some luck. We need some good. We need a good pit stop, really. I mean, we were running up front, kind of lost some spots on pit road, and then some guys not taking tires kind of screwed up, screwed up our lines on the restarts. And you know, it, it's hard to make up the ground that you lose. But no, I think we're good. The guys got a lot of confidence after that last run, and I got a lot of confidence in the new team. And um, they've obviously proved that they can win with Woodies, and I think we proved we can run up front last time. So hopefully, we. Uh, we're five spots better this week. Without giving any secrets away, is there much that you were able to learn three weeks ago? I'm, I'm, honestly, we were really good right off the bat. We learned a lot in practice. We learned what the car wanted for me compared to Woody from last year, and I think that's uh, that's made a big difference. And I think we really we really just came back with what we had with a little minor tweaks, and I think it's good enough to win. I just got to get some luck, stay out of trouble, and be there at the end. I have the number six car here tonight for the Open Modifieds. That's Matt Galco. Always runs well here when the Open Modifieds come to town. Nicola Rose is with another driver that always runs well here when the Open Modifieds race here at Stafford. Eric Goodale looking for redemption in today's Open 80 Modified event. You are a previous winner in our Open 80 events here at Stafford. I know you had to take the long boat over from the island this morning, but had a finish you didn't really want at the Sizzler, and you're looking to get it back here today. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think we can be a lot better than we were here a couple weeks ago. So, uh, like you said, looking for a little bit of redemption. I know that we can be way better than we showed uh, a few weeks ago. So, uh, was up early on the boat. We're ready to go racing tonight. And how happy are you to be back here at Stafford? I know this has got to be one of your favorites. You know, even though you do have to take the boat to get here, you know you can win here and you have a super good team here today. Yeah, uh, I love coming to Stafford. Anytime it's on the schedule, I get excited. So uh, hoping to start my uh, doubleheader weekend off with a win here tonight. I think uh, with the notes we didn't take home from the Sizzler, I think we got a pretty good shot at being up front tonight. There you go. He's got a busy weekend. He's going to be going up north tomorrow for the tour. But right now, we're going to throw it to Bonza, who's in the late model pits. It was a rough spring sizzler for Wayne Corey Jr. and the 10 team, but he bounced back to finish sixth last week. You're working with this new team that was the 08 team last year. How have you felt about the car's performance in the first couple weeks, and what more do you need out of it? Yeah, we've, uh, we've been working through a few small kinks, which is, I think, normal for any new team. When you get together, they did um, a, a lot of work over the winter, so there were a lot of new components. and few things we needed to sort through, but I think we're making progress every week, and I think I, I feel pretty good about this week. How do you feel about the late model field so far? I mean, the competition's tough. What have you noticed from the first few races? You know, I, I noticed that it's it's a lot tougher to pass than last year. The the competitive cars are probably even more competitive than last year, and it's I think the top guys have slowed down a little bit. I think the, the, the guys that weren't the top guys last year have sped up a little, and I think it's really even, so it's going to be a tough year. Well, you heard it from him. If the field is tight, the racing is going to be even better. And we know the late models don't really disappoint here at Stafford. Now we're going to transfer over to the SK Lights, where Kyle Ricky is standing by with one of our best finishers from last week. And Bonza Megan Fuller is in her sophomore season here at the Stafford Speedway in the SK Light division and fresh off a top five a week ago, two top tens to start the season. How much more comfortable are you in this car from a year ago at this time when 2021 started? Uh, I'm definitely a lot more comfortable in this car this car we got a brand new car this year so it's a lot more comfortable than the car last year where we had chattering problems week after week goals this week you got the top five last week is the podium next because you were close a week ago I really hope so last week we ended up having issues with the rear end getting all bound up from uh, avoiding many many wrecks last week but I'm hoping a podium is in the near future Best luck to you here tonight. Thank you. That's Meg Fuller looking for her first SK Light modified podium here later tonight. Now let's go to Nicole LaRose, who is with a driver looking for his first street stock win in five years. Thanks, Kyle. I'm here with Tyler Trot in the street stock division, starting off pretty strong this year. You haven't visited Victory Lane since 2016 here at Stafford, but started first two races with a sixth and a fourth. Pretty good start to the year. I heard you got some new sponsors on board this year. Yeah, we uh, we weren't gonna run here this season, and uh, you know Charlie's towing and and Blaine from Backwoods Barbecue, they really helped us out this year and kind of swung me this way. And yeah, we've had some pretty good speed. Um, we keep dialing her in each week, and uh, we'll hopefully get there. 
Now, this is a pretty unique team. I know a few cars in our field come out of your shop every week, and it's pretty hectic, I'm sure, to get all those cars ready, but it creates a pretty family dynamic here in the street stock. Yeah, it's, uh, it started off just me and my pops, and uh, you know, he really loves the street stock class, and when I had success back in the division in 15 and 16, it's just never died. We, you know, we've been busy building cars, and you know, he said, you know, I'm going to start renting them out and building them for people, and you know, it is, it does, it gets pretty hectic, but we got a really good crew, and you know, Thursday nights and Wednesday nights, we're really dialing in our cars here, mine and Burt's, you know, we're trying to get them up there and uh, be that championship contenders. There you go, Tyler Traw, off to a good start this season, he's looking for victory lane here tonight, now we're going to throw it to Bonza, who's with one of our limited late model contenders. It's been quite a good start to the season for Matt Scapini in the limiteds, he won the first race, finishes fourth in the second race. You were good at the end of last year, but what has changed during the offseason? What have you guys done to have such a good start to this year with the competition? So, I mean, we made uh, quite a few improvements to the car in the offseason. I think the biggest thing for me now is, is confidence. I started to build that. Towards the end of last year, I started getting more comfortable with the car and started learning, you know, the way the way the race flows and, and started to get better at the little things. And I think that's kind of what's what's showing now. So what more did you need, you think, out of that car last week, finishing fourth to try and get back up to the podium? Um, I think I just need to be a little quicker with the passes, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I hung around a little bit too much in the back. Um, I started, I think, in 10th or 9th last week and hung around in the back a little too long. I think i got to push a little bit harder this week to get in the front quicker. Well, you can see how Matt Scapini and all the competitors the Stafford do tonight as we prepare for a call before you dig Open 81 night, including one of our Open 81 contenders and Woody Pitcat walking right through our shop. But you can see how everybody does tonight when you watch the races live right here at the track or on Flow Racing. If you're not here though, be here. And if you are here, let's go to Ben Dodge in the booth. 